Yo, what up guys, B Smith, Day Vlogs here, I'm back with another video, and today's video is going to be about praying, fasting, and just trusting on the Lord, alright, in these times, and trusting the Lord no matter what, in the good and bad, but let's pray before we start. Dear Lord Jesus, I just pray that this video does what you want to do, your will be done. This isn't for man, this is all glory to you, Jesus. This isn't for a woman, this is all glory to you, Lord Jesus. I pray who's watching this behind the screen receives a word, Lord, and it becomes a spirit-filled word. And all that, forgive us of our sins, and we thank you every day for who you are. And we love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen, y'all. The Bible says the only thing, certain things will only come out by praying and fasting. You can't call yourself a Christian if you don't pray. I've fasted like once for the Lord, I'll be honest with you, but I pray. But the Bible says the only certain things will come out by praying and fasting, and I need to fast more myself. I do fasting in terms of for my health, but I need to fast more for the Lord, right? And praying is something I'm getting better at. I rely on His Word to pray. Let the Spirit lead me. I pray regularly. I speak in tongues or I pray in tongues, whatever I do, I let the Lord lead me and especially in times like this we need to pray and say steadfast in the lord because jesus is coming to is coming soon his time satan's time is short and he knows that and revival's coming but if we want to be part of revival and see that wave and be on that wave we have to pray and lead jesus all right well we have to pray and let jesus lead us in his name my mouth is stumbling right now. My bad, guys. But we have to rely on Jesus, okay? In prayer and in life and whatever you do, do unto the Lord. That's what the Bible says. Pray to keep our Constitution, our First Amendment, our Second Amendment, and all the amendments in here. Pray and say, Lord Jesus, if it's your will, allow the amendments to be protected. And I believe the Lord is going to protect our amendments because the revival must come and gospel must be preached to all nations. And how the Lord is going to move in that, we'll find out. And how the Lord is going to give us visions and be able to heal and do all these Holy Spirit filled things, the Lord will reveal. We have to follow Him and trust in Jesus. Because the Bible says once you're born again, you have gifts of the Holy Spirit. One is to preach, one is to teach, one is healing, one is discernment. We all have gifts from the Spirit the Lord's going to give us. And we should all have discernment because. We got to watch out who we're listening to and what we're putting in our heads. But we all receive different types of gifts Gifts in terms of are we called to preach? Are we called to be healers? Are we called to be whatever, right? Jesus will reveal what he wants us to do for his kingdom. We have to read his word. We have to focus on Jesus, you know. Let me open up a, Bible, a book in the Bible I want to tell you guys today. Malachi 3. Alright. Right here. The Lord just told me to read this right now. Breaking covenant through injustice. You. Oh. Here we go. By saying all who do evil are good in the eyes of the Lord. And he is pleased with them. Where is the God of justice? I will send my messenger who will prepare the way before me. Then suddenly the Lord you are seeking will come to his temple. The messenger of the covenant whom you desire will come, says the Lord Almighty. But who can endure the day of his coming? Who can stand when he appears? For he will be like a refiner's, a refiner's fire or a launderer's soap. He will sit as a refiner and a purifier of silver. He will purify the Levites and refine them like gold and silver. Then the Lord will have men who will bring offerings in righteousness, and the offerings of Judah and Jerusalem will be acceptable to the Lord, as in days gone by, as in former years. So I will come to put you on trial. I will be quick to testify against sorcerers, adulterers, and perjurers against those who defraud laborers of their wages, who oppress the widows and the fatherless, and deprive the foreigners among you of justice. But do not fear me, says the Lord Almighty, breaking covenant by withholding tithes. If the Lord do not change, so you, the descendant of Jacob, are not destroyed. 
Ever since the time of your ancestors, you have turned away from my decrees and have not kept them. Return to me and I will return to you, says the Lord Almighty. But you ask, how are we to return? You will a mere mortal rob God, yet you rob me? But you ask, how are we robbing you? In tithes and offerings, you are under a curse, your whole nation, because you are robbing me. Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be room enough to store it. I will repent, re prevent pests from devouring your crops, and the vines in your fields will not drop their fruit before it is ripe, says the Lord Almighty. Then all the nations will call you blessed, for yours will be a delightful land, says the Lord Almighty. Israel speaks arrogantly against God. You have spoken arrogantly against me, says the Lord. Yet you ask, what have we said against you? You have said, it is futile to serve God. What do we gain by carrying out his requirements and going out about like mourners before the Lord Almighty? But now we call the arrogant blessed. Certainly evildoers prosper, and even when they put God to the test, they get away with it. The faithful remnant. Then those who feared the Lord talked with each other, and the Lord listened and heard. A scroll of remembrance was written in his presence concerning those who feared the Lord and honored his name. On the day when I act, says the Lord Almighty, they will be my treasured possession. I will spare them, just as a father has compassion and spares his son who serves him. And you will again see the distinction between the righteous and the wicked between those who serve God and between those who do not. Kind of funny, I said, trust the Lord in these times, right? And it says right here, bring the whole tithe into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be a room enough to store it. I will prevent pests from devouring your crops and the vines in your fields will not drop their fruit before it is ripe, said the Lord Almighty. Then all the nations will call you blessed, for yours will be a delightful land, said the Lord Almighty. He's speaking about Israel here, saying, Israel, turn, your, turn back to God. Trust me and I will bless you. Tithe, show me the storehouse, put me in all your ways, basically. And if you look at what I just read, America was founded on Christian values, whether they got it perfect or not. And we protect Israel, and God blesses that. But the way America's acting, and it doesn't have to be some miraculous vision that God gives you. You can see this with your own eyes, what's going on in the world. America's turning its back on God. If we don't turn our back to God, we will be under a curse, your whole nation, because you are robbing me. America has taken advantage of God's grace. So has the rest of the world, but especially America. America's on the spotlight. America's going to be used in a big way in the end times. We might not, obviously we're not the main part. The Antichrist is, and Jesus is always in control, and Israel, we have to watch what Israel does. But since America is best friends of Israel, basically, we're playing a big part. And God says, because you are robbing me, we must go back to the Lord. We must pray. The Bible says, I will hear from heaven if they pray and repent of their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and heal their land. The Bible says that in Matthew. And God sees that. What also, the faithful remnant, it also spoke to me. Then those who feared the Lord talked with each other, and the Lord listened and heard. A scroll of remembrance was written in his presence concerning those who feared the Lord and honored his name. On the day when I act, says the Lord Almighty, they will be my treasured possession. I will spare them, just as a father has compassion and spares his son who serves him. And you will again see the distinction between the righteous and the wicked, between those who serve God and those who do not. This whole COVID-19 thing, everything going on with the protests, we are seeing the remnant of God that truly serves him and wants to follow him and seek him. And the Lord's going to bless that in these times. The revival's coming. The Lord's going to bless who is the faithful remnant.
So as Christians, we must see that. God's going to bless us. If we follow him, seek him, and rely on his word, God will see that, okay? We are the faithful remnant. People who truly seek God, pray, fast, read his word, go to the right church. God sees that. And he's going to move in us. But be faithful. Because the way he's going to move might not be the way you thought he was going to move. Pray and seek his face. Ask the Lord, what do you want me to do? Not everything is a sign from God. So pray and test the spirit. I fall on that sometimes. So I got to pray and test the spirit. All right. Trust the Lord. As I was making this video, the Lord said to go read Malachi 3. And it kind of tied into what we're talking about. Be faithful in the Lord. Trust the Lord. Just because the faithful remnant that God sees, he's going to protect our constitution for a period of time. So we have time to bring this revival. And I believe that. But you got to pray. you got to trust the Lord. And you got to seek his face. A lot of people are coming to Christ through TikTok. They're seeing people's videos and they're coming to Christ. Revival's already started. The digital revival. And I didn't get a word on that from God, but other people have. But I've gotten word about California and the South seeing revival. And I met someone on who found all my TikToks. And they said the Lord told me to text you about the vision he, she gave you. He gave me. And she's from the South. And the Lord gave me a vision of small towns in the South and big California towns working together. And then I saw a video on TikTok. The Lord told me a couple days ago, you're going to go to the South one day and preach. And I saw a video on TikTok, more confirmation. This guy got a vision saying that God, I'm making a video. I'll what time do you work tomorrow? I don't work tomorrow. When I'm, I'm making a video right now, though. I'll tell you when I'm done. But God gave me a vision of me going to the South. And I saw a video on TikTok. And he, the guy said that the Lord gave him a vision of many people coming to West Palm, Florida to be part of this crazy move of God. And I got to read the vision of the South Sea and crazy revival. And I know this guy from the Lord. I watch his stuff. I test his spirit. Everything he preaches is biblical. He's spirit filled. So that was more confirmation. The Lord's moving, guys. But you can't tell the Lord's moving if you aren't getting in his presence, if you aren't reading his word, if you aren't praying, if you aren't fasting, if you aren't going to the right church, if you're not surrounding yourself around bodies of believers. You can't tell if he's moving. We are in the beginning of the end, but not yet the end. The beginning of sorrows. And it's not yet the end because the gospel has not been yet preached to all nations yet. So don't be worried. Don't be scared. Be steadfast. Pray and seek the Lord's faith. Trust in his name, all right? Read his word. And if you're a non-believer watching this video and you don't know anything I'm saying about the vision stuff and the Holy Spirit stuff and trusting in the Lord, you can. Just say, just the Bible says anyone who calls on the name of Jesus shall be saved. It's faith, then calling on the name of Jesus and believing all your heart, then ye shall be saved. That's what the Bible says. Faith and repentance, not works. Faith alone saves you in Jesus. You don't need baptism to get saved. But you should get baptized. Baptism is a public announcement, basically, of, yes, I follow Jesus. So if you're a non-believer, repent and give your life to Jesus when he wants you. Put faith in him. There's a reason why you come across this video, all right? And if you're a Christian watching this video, man, just know the Lord's coming soon. we got to get right. No man know the time, date, nor hour. But we do know the seasons, and we're coming close to one of those seasons. We already already are in the beginning of the end. But I don't think we're in the tribulation yet. But I could be wrong. I gotta pray and seek the Lord. I I was watching a video on YouTube, and I'm still testing the spirit on this, and I'm still praying and seeking the Lord about this. The two witnesses in the Bible we all talk about, right? Some people think it's Moses and Elijah, Enoch and Elijah, but I watched a video and talked about the two olive trees will be the two witnesses. And in the Old Testament, and even in the New Testament, one of the olive trees that broke away was Jewish. And the olive tree that was bearing fruit was the Gentiles. And the Bible says, the two olive trees will be my witnesses. The two witnesses. And the Jewish people, once they come back to the Lord and repent, which the Lord promises in Revelation, Israel will come back to the Lord. 
That will be the olive trees, and the two olive trees will be the two witnesses in the end. That could be a very true thing, and it makes sense. But I'm still praying and seeking the Lord on that. Because the Bible does say Israel will come to repentance. Obviously, not every Jew is going to come to Jesus, but a good amount will. And God's word never lies. But besides that, I hope you get from this video to pray, trust the Lord, read his word, seek his face, pray for comfort, and pray over your house, the blood of Jesus to protect you, all right? And you and your family and your friends. I love you guys. Have a great day in Jesus' name.